Welcome everyone to the University of Redlands, a private nonprofit university that prepares students for lives of meaning, impact, and joy. This is a university committed to student-focused, personalized education through small class sizes and faculty who care about each student's success. Located in beautiful and sunny Redlands, California, the university is surrounded by majestic mountains and is a short drive away from the desert and beaches of Southern California. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and together we'll spend the next half hour on this beautiful campus, meeting Redlands students and hearing their stories of experiential learning through outdoor programs, field work, research, study abroad, athletics, and more. And if we are all lucky, we'll get a chance to meet the university's bulldog mascot. Welcome to the University of Redlands. This is the College Tour. Let's meet Corey, a first year student double majoring in history and political science from the nearby coastal city of San Diego, California. Redlands is proud to be a connected, inclusive community where students feel they belong and have endless opportunities to explore their interests through clubs, organizations, and school-wide events. Corey, please take it away. Thanks for the introduction, Alex. I always knew that I wanted to go to college. I wanted to go to school closer to home and take academically rigorous courses that would prepare me for law school. When I found the University of Redlands, everything seemed to click. Coming to campus for the first time, I was amazed by everything the school had to offer. There were so many interesting classes and programs, I couldn't decide what to join. But I was also really nervous that if I joined the wrong groups or joined too late, that I wouldn't make any friends. I remember calling my dad in the first week and crying because I thought the transition to college was too much and I didn't know how to handle being so alone. And then, out of nowhere, some random student came up to me, patted me on the shoulder, gave me a thumbs up, and said, you got this. And that's when I realized that, at the University of Redlands, it's almost impossible to be alone. There will always be someone there for you. After I got over my first week jitters, I hopped into any program that held my interest. I've joined Mock Trial, Hawaii Club, Young Life, and Content Creation. But the University of Redlands also has an eSports center, sororities and fraternities, collegiate and intramural sports teams, dozens of cultural groups and activities, and school-wide events that give you the opportunity to find something that you love and to find other people who love it too. No matter your interest, you can find community at the University of Redlands. The transition from high school to college was hard, but now I'm happy to say that I have friends and even family at the University of Redlands. That's all from me. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Corey, for sharing about your first days at Redlands. Your story is an inspiration for future Redlands students who are curious about the transition from high school to college and encouragement for them to explore academic programs and seek out the connected and inclusive communities where they belong. Thanks again. Let's meet Jocelyn, a junior and first generation student from Desert Hot Springs, California. As many students do, Jocelyn first fell in love with the beautiful Redlands campus, but it was the resources the university offers first-generation students that convinced Jocelyn Redlands was a community where she belonged. Tell us more, Jocelyn. Thank you, Alex, for that warm introduction. Growing up, I had barriers set. Neither of my parents attended college, nor did they finish high school. I knew I wanted to go farther in my education than my parents had ever gone. I found a profound sense of passion towards my education and I wanted to see how far I could take my commitment to learning. When it came to the college application process, I wasn't sure what I was expecting or looking for in a college. My parents couldn't help me as much because it was all new to them. When I first learned about the University of Redlands, I instantly fell in love with the campus. And most importantly, all the resources the school had to offer for first-gen students. Now as a current student, I appreciate all the support I have received. Because of the university's size, we have such a strong, tight community. Redlands really is a place where I belong. Redlands has a summer program called Summer Bridge. I came two weeks before school started with 40 other first-gen students, and we got a feel of what college was like before everyone else had arrived. 
Once school began, we had the option of enrolling in students together empowering peers. Or STEP, we were assigned a mentor to help navigate us through college. This STEP program was all ran by other first generation students. I continued to serve in STEP and I eventually became a mentor myself. This has been a full circle moment for me. College can be hard, but with the right resources, support, and community that Redlands has been able to provide, I have been able to succeed. I am living proof that we first-generation students can break any cycle when we put our hearts and our minds to it. Let's take it back to Alex. Jocelyn, thank you. It's so great to hear of your success and know that you are an inspiration for other first-generation students who may be questioning if they can have success in college. Redlands is committed to supporting first-generation students in the transition to college through programs and peer mentoring and throughout their college career. It's so important. Thanks again. Let's go to Khalil, a junior majoring in international relations with a minor in physical education from Bronx, New York. Khalil is a deaf student athlete who is passionate about sports, education, and helping people. Through the open doors of opportunity at Redlands, Khalil has found his community and how to make an impact at the university. Let's meet Khalil and his interpreter, Justin. Please take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hello, everyone. My name is Khalil Alicia Arambles. I grew up in a military family, and as long as I can remember, there were two things I was really passionate about, sports and education. As a deaf student athlete, I came to Redlands knowing I could do the work and create change. I was excited by the challenge. I knew it wouldn't be easy moving from a high school for deaf students to Redlands, but I found a welcoming community with great support from classmates, faculty, and people across campus. I grew up moving and traveling across the U.S. and overseas. Because of this, I'm majoring in international relations. At Redlands, there are many study abroad programs, internships, and other opportunities for this major and many others. Last summer, I participated in a student panel at the International Internship Conference in Indiana. The conference included CEOs, founders, and organizers who also have deaf relatives, colleagues, and friends. It was marvelous to hear from them. Knowing I can flourish at a national conference, in the classroom and on the football field is really exciting along with making memories. One of my favorite things is teaching ASL. Many Bulldog teammates attended ASL classes and tutoring hours. This is meaningful to me because I am able to communicate more with my teammates on and off the field. I believe I am the first one to teach this class. I am proud I am making an impact on student lives just as they have impacted mine. Here at University of Redlands, I feel like so many doors have opened up for me. Professors really care and engage with me a lot to help me achieve my goals. And because of University of Redlands, I'm not only learning how to change the world, I'm building communication skills and lifelong relationships. I really do enjoy my work on campus and at the same time pursuing my dreams. Back to you, Alex. Khalil, thank you for sharing your relentless pursuit of excellence. You are an example to future students that a Redlands education is accessible and achievable. Your contributions are part of why Redlands has an inclusive, welcoming community and a beloved athletics program. Thanks again. Say hello to Enrique, a junior in the engineering dual degree program who is studying computer science and coding. For him, Redlands has been a series of open doors to research with professors, innovate for the benefit of his peers, and turn dreams into realities. Enrique, tell us more. Thanks, Alex. When I came to college, I had no idea what I wanted to do. When I realized that computer science and coding was the path for me, my eyes were open to all of the wonderful opportunities that the University of Redlands has to offer. Redlands is committed to student empowerment. I had the opportunity to develop a new student orientation app. And when I approached our administration with my idea, they immediately connected me with the head of IT to get it started. Redlands empowers its students by embracing our ideas and giving us the means to put them into action. The administration actively seeks out student perspectives and works collaboratively to turn our visions into realities. I'm enrolled in our engineering dual degree program. 
This program and partnership allows me to complete foundational STEM courses in engineering and receive a bachelor's degree from Redlands before continuing to receive my second degree from either Columbia University or Washington University in St. Louis, all in just five years. And I would never have had this opportunity if it weren't for Redlands. The professors at Redlands take pride in working closely with their students whether that's helping them design their own summer research projects or allowing their students to help them with their research. There is no limit to what the university will do to make sure each of its students has opportunities to practice their education. Coming to the University of Redlands was the perfect choice for me. Now I feel confident and ready to move forward with the rest of my studies and the rest of my life. Now I'm throwing it back to you, Alex. Thank you, Enrique. Research and field work with professors is encouraged here at Redlands. And it is so exciting to see you turn the opportunity into a project that could benefit students in the future. Redlands is committed to student-focused, personalized education through collaborative, small class sizes, and with faculty who care about each student's success. Take care. Let's meet Pierce, a sophomore in the Johnston Center for Integrative Studies. The Johnston program offers students the opportunity to design their own degree, allowing Pierce to pursue many of his passions through a personalized education. It also offered the chance to impact his career and his community with his entrepreneurial spirit. Pierce, we can't wait to hear more. Please take it away. Thanks for the intro, Alex. Growing up, I had a bunch of different passions. One weekend, I'd be up in the mountains, tearing up the slope, and the next, shredding my guitar in my home studio. All while doing all that, I still found time to launch rockets, run miles, and race cars in the desert with my friends. I've always been interested in so many things. When I came to the University of Redlands, I was initially captured by the campus's aesthetics and their music and business degree programs. But after I discovered the Johnson Center, I knew I wanted to do something unique that would combine my various interests. I wanted a personalized education that would give me applicable skills and not just theory. In Johnston, students are encouraged to participate in hands-on, real-world learning. Johnston allows you to take your education into your own hands. Within Johnston, every student creates their own academic major, or emphasis as we call it. My emphasis is entrepreneurship and marketing. I've received college credit for attending marketing conferences, making viral videos online, and even founding my own company, Sherpa Media, and acquiring clients. And Johnston isn't just for people who want to be an entrepreneur like me. I have friends making their own degree paths in anthropology, ethnic studies, and set design, just to name a few. Redlands is truly a place where you can explore anything that your heart desires. As for me, Redlands has empowered me to continue down the path of entrepreneurship and intern at a major media company. There, I want to discover the secrets behind the movers and shakers in the marketing industry. Hope you keep following your dreams. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Piers. You are definitely transforming your dreams into realities at Redlands. The Johnston program is an incredible opportunity for students to be the architect of their own education. Experiential learning at Redlands helps students prepare personally and professionally for their futures, which is awesome. Thanks again. Let's hear from Natalie, a graduate student in the university's School of Business and Society, earning her MBA through the four plus one pathway here at Redlands. In just five short years, Natalie will have completed her four-year undergraduate and MBA programs. As Natalie tells us more, we'll learn what else she found at Redlands that has been missing for her. Natalie, you're up. Thank you, Alex. Growing up as an athlete, I knew I wanted to compete at the next level, but obtaining a strong education was the most important thing to me when it came to deciding on where to go for college. I wanted to attend a highly respected university that would benefit my career post-graduation. As a third generation legacy student, the University of Redlands was always on my list of possible colleges. However, softball took me elsewhere out of high school. After a year at a different university, I felt like something was missing from my college experience and decided to transfer. Seven other people in my family have attended Redlands, so I was very familiar with the amazing college experience they all had, the strong alumni base, 
and the relationships they have continued to have to this day. I knew this would be a great fit for me. I knew I wanted to pursue a degree in business. As an undergraduate student, my advisor led me to major in financial economics and minor in accounting for a well-rounded degree. She also introduced me to the business 4 plus 1 pathway. With the 4 plus 1 pathway, undergraduate students are able to take classes that are considered prerequisites for graduate school, which allow you to complete your master's within one year post-graduation. This accelerated program is designed for students to complete their bachelor's degree and their master's in only five years. Redlands made it easy to transition from an undergraduate degree to a graduate MBA degree. No matter what you choose to major in at the University of Redlands, you have endless opportunities. I am so happy I found my way to Redlands, following in the footsteps of my relatives. Go Bulldogs. Back to you, Alex. Natalie, thank you for your motivating story of grabbing an opportunity and making the most of it and reflecting on how the campus community was so important to your college experience. Four plus one pathway programs here at Redlands help students finish degrees in less time and advance professionally. Thanks again. Say hello to Eden, a senior from Whitefish, Montana, who is pursuing her performance passions through a personalized degree. Eden designed a program in dramatic storytelling through the Johnston Center and the School of Performing Arts, allowing her to study her craft with faculty who she says have a contagious love for their work. You're up, Eden. Take it away. Thanks, Alex, and hello, everyone. Ever since I was little, I loved making up songs and stories dressing up and putting on a performance. So I don't think anyone was too surprised when I decided I wanted to be an actor. When I found the University of Redlands, I saw photographs of their past theater productions, and I knew immediately I wanted to be a part of it. I have performed in four live productions here at the university, and I know I shouldn't choose favorites, but getting to play Mrs. Lovett in Sweeney Todd was an absolute dream come true. During the summer, a group of us even got to perform at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in Scotland. It's a trip that the university takes once every two years and is an incredible opportunity to not only travel, but also to experience and be a part of the world's largest arts festival. Partway through my sophomore year, I joined the Johnston Center of Integrative Studies with an emphasis in dramatic storytelling, so I can study film and creative writing as well as the performing arts. The performing arts faculty is extremely passionate and professional. Each of them has this contagious love for their work and they encourage and challenge students to strengthen and develop the necessary skills to pursue our interests while also creating a comfortable and fun environment. The School of Performing Arts, which includes our Conservatory of Music, has provided me with more training and support than I ever could have hoped for, from vocal lessons, dance classes, and instruction for acting and auditioning. Now I'm prepared to follow my dreams and someday you'll be seeing me on the big screen. Back to you, Alex. Great story, Eden, thank you. The School of Performing Arts at Redlands is home to the nationally recognized Conservatory of Music and Department of Theater and Dance, with programs taught by internationally renowned faculty and alumni who also perform on stages around the world. Thanks again. Let's hear from Carter, a senior majoring in business administration from Golden, Colorado. Lured by the vibe of California and a friend's recommendation, Carter initially came to Redlands to play football and found friends, camaraderie, connections, and most importantly, community. As part of Bulldog Football, Greek Life, and a community service internship, Carter has discovered opportunities to lead, grow, and serve. Tell us more, Carter. Thanks, Alex. I'm from Colorado. And as much as I love the mountains, I knew I wanted to explore somewhere new for college. Once I decided to play collegiate football, my focus was on finding a school that I liked and wanted to play at. Through a friend, I got connected to the coaches at the U of R and got an offer to play. Football allowed me to make friends quickly. Having those relationships made the transition and connecting to a community much easier. In all sports, athletes at Redlands are leaders on campus. Whether volunteering with their team or through other clubs, there's a camaraderie built on and off the field. Greek life has also been a big part of my time at Redlands. As a sophomore, 
myself and two friends had the opportunity to re-found a fraternity. We met all summer to re-establish this organization, and in the fall of 2022, Alpha Gamma Nu returned to campus, with the three of us being the only active members. We currently have 25 active members and are setting the standard for a positive and healthy Greek organization. At Redlands, we care about community. Through sports and Greek life, there are so many opportunities to get involved on campus. From a three-day service trip with the football team to a weekly mentorship program with high school students, service has been a staple of my time here. Overall, my Redlands experience has taught me to get outside of my comfort zone and be a leader in the causes, missions, and values that I align with. I've learned so much about myself, my interests, and how to achieve my goals. That's my story. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Carter. Your leadership and service experiences in organizations highlight the opportunities in campus life at Redlands. All undergraduates commit to a community service internship during their four years here at Redlands that help them prepare personally and professionally for what's next after graduation. That was awesome, thanks again. Let's talk with Abigail, a senior majoring in global business and minoring in mathematics from Germantown, Maryland. Abigail found herself at Redlands and never looked back. With an academic pursuit of global business and adventures as an outdoor programs trip leader, Abigail is making the most of her Redlands experience. Give us the details, Abigail. Thanks, Alex. Growing up in Maryland, I knew I wanted to go out of state for college to explore different parts of the country and explore who I was. Being born in California and having family nearby, I knew I could find myself here, even if it was a six hour flight away. Luckily, Redlands had the size, price, and sense of adventure that I was looking for, being beautifully situated between the mountains and the coast. So without ever having set foot on campus, I committed to four years at Redlands, and it's been the most rewarding leap of faith I've ever taken. I have a fantastic education in global business, leading me to the exciting opportunity of studying abroad in Paris. Plus, I'm surrounded by the best people and most amazing campus life to enjoy. As I mentioned, I came here looking for adventure. Well, one of the most valuable corners of this campus is outdoor programs, which hosts epic adventures like canyoneering in Zion, sea kayaking in San Diego, or backpacking through Yosemite. As a trip leader, I get to experience more. We volunteer to plan and lead these trips after going through extensive leadership training, making us effective communicators, decision makers, and collaborators. This community of open-minded, caring, bright humans committed to growing together has been such a tight-knit support system and family. As I finish my last semester here, grabbing coffee at one of Redland's local cafes, playing spike ball on our quad, or hosting movie nights in my apartment with my roommates, I know I will always cherish my academic and personal growth, as well as the bonds I've made here that I know will last my entire life. Thanks for listening. Back to you, Alex. Wow, those are some thrilling adventures, Abigail. Thank you for sharing. For many students, the Redlands experience begins on an outdoor journey with their peers. Outdoor programs is one of many opportunities at Redlands where peers bond, confidence is built, and leaders are born. Thanks again. Let's meet Sophia, a senior majoring in business and film from Sonoma, California. Sophia was drawn to Redlands by the prospect of playing water polo. But once on campus, she found her community and so much more. While excelling as an athlete, Sophia discovered study abroad, internships, and made deep connections with her peers and alumni. Tell us more, Sophia. Thanks, Alex. What's up, everyone? Graduating from high school in 2020, I had some concerns about where I would continue my education without actually seeing many colleges due to the pandemic. Despite water polo being the main component that drew me to Redlands, in my time here, I've discovered so much more. My first year at Redlands was online due to the pandemic, so I made it my mission to make the most of my experience here with the three years that I had left. Unsure of where to begin, I found a variety of social and academic organizations through our involvement fair after my sophomore orientation. Being a Division III athlete means that I could still play at a competitive level and maintain my academics, but also 
Fresh Greek Life, study abroad, work as a tour guide, and take part in so many other organizations all at the same time. The beauty of going to a small school like Redlands means that you can truly build deep connections with the people that you're surrounded by. Studying abroad at our campus in Salzburg, Austria was without a doubt such an incredible life-changing experience. I learned so much about myself and the world. When I returned from my study abroad trip, I refined my resume and my LinkedIn through our Office of Career and Professional Development. In conjunction with a professional development class that assisted me in connecting with alumni in the film industry, I now have an internship with an alumnus who hosts a television show. All of these experiences allowed me to discover who I am as a young adult. If my first year self met who I am now, they would not believe their eyes. I'm grateful for the connections, memories, and opportunities I found at Redlands. That's my story. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Sophia. What great experiences you've had here at Redlands. Many students at Redlands say that study abroad changed how they saw the world and how they wanted to contribute to it. Access to opportunity is a trademark of the Redlands experience. Thanks again. A big thank you to the University of Redlands for an amazing visit to your beautiful campus and to our Redlands students for sharing their experiences, encouragement, and inspiration. From bold adventures and outdoor programs, to research in the lab, to innovations in tech and community service internships, Redlands provides access to opportunities and a welcoming, inclusive community where students feel they belong. Please come visit Redlands and explore more than 70 programs like geographic information systems, communication sciences and disorders, esports, public policy, business, education, and music. Now, before we wrap up here, while I was on campus, I had the pleasure of spending some time with the president of University of Redlands. Aside from us having an absolute blast with their bulldog mascot, who everyone loves here, there's a bit of our conversation we wanted you all to get to watch. So please stay tuned in the credits for that. And we'll see you all on campus real soon. Take care, everyone. The University of Redlands, that bulldog impact, it's so special. You can feel it, right? Yeah. It's a tremendous community here where each student comes in and they immediately connect to this community. They've got professor mentorships that help them go to where they want to achieve. And so it's all about making their dreams come true in a personalized education and then going out into an alumni of 50,000 worldwide that will connect them to their dream jobs. Mm. It's powerful. It is.